diary day two. Thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for the texts, the calls. It was definitely overwhelming um, to hear so much support. So much support came in. Um, even from people that actually uh, has gone through the process or is going through the process. So, um, thank you. Uh, so, if you know somebody that is also going through this process, I recommend sharing it with them or um, just journey with me uh, through this process as I expose, uh, I guess, some fears, uh, some insecurities. Um, and as I promise to be as sincere as possible through this journey, so my hopes are to inspire somebody else. Keep on going. One foot in front of the, in front of the other. If you have to cry sometimes, just cry. But you have to get up and you have to keep moving. You have to get your emotions intact. And you, you just have to keep on going. Uh, especially being a teacher, going through this uh, infertility process was was definitely hard uh, because number one, the first treatments, the whole the whole journey and the first treatments, it does a lot to your emotions. I tell you, it, it spins you, spins you crazy. Uh, I had to, I literally had to read the. I was like, what is wrong with me? I literally had to read the what is it? The side effects of some of these medicines. Uh, the doctor was prescribing so uh, there was one day I remember I was like no this this I just I don't know so uh, I read the side effects in front of Gregory like oh that's why my emotions are crazy so you're gonna have to give me a pass on a lot of And um, he's grown so much. I love him so much. Uh, definitely, shout out to the husband. Uh, definitely a huge supporter. So, uh, even when he shared it on Facebook, like, what? What? Um, it does my heart good to see him support because this... A lot of people just don't talk about this. A lot. A lot. This is not a subject that you just want to hold conversations at uh, restaurants or just over a cup of tea. A cup of tea. Um, you don't want to hold this conversation. So you don't hear about this conversation at all, really. Um, so thank you for letting me expose my heart. Thank you for uh, uh, walking this journey with me. Uh, subscribe notifications on a, all that stuff. Um, so definitely number one, weight loss. Guys, I started the Weight Watchers. Um, sis in law does the Weight Watchers, and she looked beautiful. Uh, she lost a whole heap of weight, and the before and after was amazing. So I know it works. Um, and it seems like you just got to be disciplined. So, y'all, pre, pre, oh, I just got to be disciplined. Like, I'm disciplined in a whole heap of stuff, but not food. No, mm -mm, not food. Matter of fact, I'm hungry right now. I ain't got that many points left. <laughs> what? So I downloaded the Weight Watchers and I was texting one of my friends. I was texting my sister-in-law and I was, I was calling people and I was like, okay, I have to do it because um, the, that's the one thing my uh, new specialist uh, told me to do is lose weight. So I'm on it. And number one, uh, number two, uh, to be honest, I don't know if it was quarantine or I just ordered the wrong size. But uh, the matron of honor dress is a little tight. <sighs> don't tell, don't tell nobody else. You just watch it. Don't, don't tell nobody. Don't talk about me later. But 
So I got to get my life together. So I got the Weight Watchers program, which is good. But I'm telling you, the first time I did my meal, me and Gregory have um, breakfast. And we usually do um, biscuits, egg, cheese, and a meat. I don't eat pork. Gregory eats all the pork. So he'll have bacon, egg, and cheese. And I'll have something random with turkey, turkey bacon, maybe like turkey slices. Um, what else? I think, that's, I, think that's, uh, I think that's it. Or they have like the turkey little patties or something. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to find it. So if you know a uh, good old turkey morning breakfast I can put on my biscuits, drop it below in the comments. Drop it below. Uh, but anyway, we do breakfast uh, for biscuits this morning. And so I get on there and I'm trying to figure out the points and stuff. I put in one biscuit. I was like, ain't no way I'm going to have one biscuit. And no, no way I would just have one biscuit for breakfast. I got to do baby steps. Baby steps. So I put in two. Get all the points for breakfast. Thank you. Um, so, and then I had to choose turkey bacon or this lean sliced turkey sandwich meat. I scanned both of them. I said, I gotta go with the one that has less points. <laughs> got to. Because my points is racking on breakfast. So, I went with the uh, sandwich sliced turkey. And then I get to the cheese. Everybody knows I love cheese. And I just, I put in one slice of cheese. <laughs> just one. One slice of Americano cheese. And that thing gave me four points. So I said, okay can't do two slices i'm gonna put in one half it up one half on one biscuit the other half on the other biscuit let me save my points because i want to eat dinner i want to snack a little bit i have to save my points somewhere so we usually slap on a little butter on the biscuits so i looked up butter i said just forget about it don't don't butter my biscuits at all just forget it I, but it was good i'm not gonna lie to you it was good i kind of heated up the meat and stuff i didn't add any salt pepper nothing just just regular old eggs eggs racked up my points too but i am gonna give it a try because i ain't, I ain't got nothing else during quarantine i have to watch my portions and i'm not gonna let quarantine get to me you are not getting to me i'm gonna get in this major nirvana dress I'm going to lose weight for this process, period. Um, so that's one down. <laughs> Caffeine. My man said, uh, I want you to get down to eight ounces of caffeine. I'm so gregory. I just, I'm just not going to drink coffee. Just, I'm just, go ahead and get rid of it. But baby steps. Anybody that drinks coffee every day, I know you get headaches. I'm not the only one. If you want to stop coffee, headaches will come. It is a fight. It's a fight. Every time we go on a fast, I'm just like, ah, coffee, headache. It's coming. Get ready. Prepare yourself. Stop now and just be ready on day one. Um, so I usually go to the coffee shop and have 20 ounce coffee. And I really think I did good. I... I got a 16 ounce coffee instead of a um, 20 ounce for a shot Americano. I went down to a uh, 16 ounce three shot Americano. So I, I think I did good and I had sugar-free almond in it. I think I did really good. So that was zero points. Okay, but the little dabble of half and half to make it light skin because I like my coffee light skin. I don't know. I didn't I didn't know how to count the dabble of the little I didn't know how to count that one. So I'm gonna just say that's a quarter of a point and just 
kind of scratch it. <laughs> I need half and half. Uh, so the the coffee caffeine went well. And um, I got my order of blood work check. I got that order in. So all I need to do is set up an appointment and get my blood work done. I got to update the blood work, update exams. Um, because we took a year off. I think, it's, I think it was a year. It was a, it's a long time. I, I, I remember it. it was the last treatment I got which we went through Clomid, uh, excuse me, and we got the shot for, uh, for ovulation, Clomid shot and, uh, blood work. So I was, I was seeing my doctor two, three times a month for quite some time. So like you had to keep up with the days, the numbers, my app works very well. Um, period tracker i can't show you one day i'm gonna get all techie and have it like in the corner up here period tracker whatever so like as i go to the doctor what day are you on <laughs> you got to keep up with those numbers every time every time and you have to be sure you take the pills on time whatever day you're supposed to take them um the shot has to be on time uh, a lot of numbers was going through my head because i'm a math teacher it was just a lot uh, to keep up with um, so now I, I remember when my doctor said, well, uh, this is going to be my last treatment because, uh, you would need a different specialist and I have to refer you to Nashville. And I was, I was crying because I was like, I don't want to go to Nashville. Number one, I don't, don't, I don't like driving in Nashville. That's crazy. If you ride with me, just know, don't talk to me when we hit Nashville. I need to turn the music down. I need to concentrate. I can't think because it was so bumper to bumper. It's just, I guess it's too much. So I'm, I'm definitely glad uh married Gregory because he drives a lot. He, dri he drives everywhere mostly. But um, so specialist in Nashville because it was my last treatment. And uh, I remember that that was that moment in church, my first breakdown, my first breakdown moment in church because of this. And I don't know, it was like an altar call or something. I have, I have no idea what it was, but uh, the spirit was heavy. It was lingering. Like, maybe it was just lingering on me. I don't know. I, my eyes was closed, hands lifted, heart open. I don't know what everybody else was doing, but I I heard I heard him on the and. I just thought it was still lingering. <laughs> so uh, I stood there and I, all I could say over and over, I don't, I don't want this Nashville trip. I don't want this Nashville specialist. I can't. God, if you just grant me this one miracle, you know, you go through the prayers, like you're the God of wonders and miracles and signs and you open blind eyes and you cause uh lame men to walk and you just you're just this awesome god that created everything the stars the moon you know the numbers of hairs on my head you just go through that prayer you're the god that splits the sea the god of abraham isaac and jacob you are almighty and you can do this but why won't you it was my last treatment and I was like, if ever I needed, uh, that was, that's my prayer all the time. When I was, if ever I needed you before, I need you right now, right now. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't think I was talking that aggressive when it was the day in church. So I stood there. I stood there and that was my prayer, like going over and over. I could not move. Like, I don't know what everybody else was doing. Y'all was probably sitting down, but I couldn't move. I just stood there and my eyes was just wailing. I can't, I can't go nowhere else. Like, this is it. And I already talked to Gregory. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it to you. I ain't gonna do it to you. And I already talked to Gregory and I told him, me being a teacher every month, seeing his doctor two to three times a week, keeping up with the numbers, keeping up with pills, which day, it was so much. 
I said I would not be able to go back and forth to Nashville. I would not be able to do that. Number one, your hours, you're not with me anymore. I was going to these appointments by myself. I said, I don't want to go to Nashville by myself. I just can't. Can you do it? So we both agreed. He supported me in the decision to stop shots, stop treatments, stop medicines. Just take a break. Uh Cause I, and then other, that they were like, wait on the Lord, wait on him, wait on him. He'll do this and he'll do that. Just keep on waiting, keep on waiting. But what a lot of people didn't know is we went through medical treatments for a very long time. And um, so in my head, it was like, okay, well, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I didn't wait on the Lord. Maybe I should have sat on down somewhere, saved some of this money because it was not covered under insurance. We racked up some debt, and I, I said, well, maybe, and then you hear it over and over, maybe uh, I should wait on God. We'll let him do what he do. So I took I took a break. We took a break. Uh, and we started doing, like, uh, like vitamins and stuff, like uh, prenatal vitamins. And uh, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm doing uh, one right now. It's uh, Conception. It's, like, EU natural. Um, I only take one vitamin a day. And it has a lot of good reviews, but uh, I don't know. I'm just doing some vitamins, just put some vitamins in me. Um, I don't know. I uh, we went through a lot. I started drinking tea. I don't know if anybody noticed. I, one person did notice. I love her too much. Because she was like, mm, girl, what you drinking? And I was like, tea? She said, what kind of tea? And I was like, I'm just some mint tea. <laughs> but then this one, my friend, friend, she my friend, friend. So I told her, I was like, it's fertility tea. And my mom was there. I was like, yeah, I, it's fertility tea. I just, just, there you go. That's my friend, friend. That's a, that's my girl. Uh, but we did the tea. And then I, I think at one point I got so desperate. I was trying to mix too much. Having headaches, dizzy. Don't mix. If you are watching it and you are going through this process, do not mix. My body couldn't handle it. So it was just vitamins. Um, no, the tea was good. The tea was real good. Like I had to be sure that I wasn't drinking more than what they told me to drink. Because I wanted to drink it with my dinner too, lunch. But I stopped drinking the tea. It was it was quite a bit of money. So I stopped. Um, so and then I'm just doing a conception vitamin. It has a whole heap of vitamins in there. So I'm, I'm happy about it. Uh, but other than that, I, that's it. Like we took that whole year off. Um, oh, one, one thing about that day in at church. Let me tell you. Well, I stood there, and I think it was, like, after benediction. Like, I didn't even move. Like, Chris, what are you doing? Like, sometimes you just get stuck. You just get stuck. It's, it's almost like um, I won't leave till you bless me. Uh, so, now I finally set my little stuff down. Um, and uh, one, of the, one of the mothers of the church came over, and he said, I don't talk about stuff. It was like... This is huge for me just to expose this. I don't talk about it often, but she came over. And let me tell you, tip number one or two. I don't know. I don't even know if I gave any tips. But I would say wise counsel, wise counsel only. If you are going through something, no matter what it is, you got to. You have to know who to talk to. Period. Period. You have to know who to talk to. Um, and I I don't expose myself too often. Like, this is a huge jump. Like, I didn't take baby steps. So I was like, oh, I'm a video and give the public what I'm struggling with. Whew, it's a lot. I, I don't talk about it a lot. But um, so she came over and I, I, I promise, like, it made me feel comfortable in telling her. She just simply said are you okay <coughs> she knew i was she knew i was struggling she knew i was struggling but it wasn't like people would say what's wrong no, i don't want to talk to you i don't want to tell you what's wrong i don't want. 
But that one simple question, she said, are you okay? Christine, are you okay? Are you okay? <sighs> Michael Jackson's the king of pop. But I was not okay. Like that was my last treatment. There was no turning back. There was, if God didn't do it to me, then I was just going to stop the journey and keep on going. And I told her, I gave her a one and a half year story in probably approximately seven minutes. And it felt good. And I, I know I can trust her. She's, she's, she's so awesome. She's so awesome. Um, but yeah, tip number one or two, wise counsel. Seek wise counsel. Um, have that person with you uh, to journey with you. Um, that won't judge you, won't call you crazy, and won't tell your business to everybody. That's won't judge you, won't call you crazy, won't make you feel like it's your fault. Because this journey definitely makes you feel like it's your fault. Something's wrong with you. Uh, I'm, I was created a woman. I should be able to create. This should be a natural thing, but um, it doesn't come natural one in six. Uh, so I told her and she she kept me in a prayer. She checks on me. Sometimes I just uh, load her up with my emotions and she never judged me. And I love her for that so much. So seek out, seek out wise counsel. Follow me. I'll let you know I'm not, uh, you're not crazy because I'm crazy. I'm emotional, especially shots and pills. You get emotional, period. Um. So if you're going through the same process, you're going to get emotional. You're going to feel crazy. You're going to feel like it's all your fault. But you absolutely have to um, keep your face before God and be sure you ask him. Don't make my heart bitter in this process. Um, and somebody texted me. Um, don't make me bitter. Um, just be, don't, don't let me go. Don't let me go because there are times where you want to let go. I definitely wanted to let go a couple times, but I sat right on there front row. I sat right in Sunday school. I would be in the back corner, but listen, don't, I just need to be here. I probably didn't study my Sunday school lesson, but I'm on the verge out. But just, just let me sit here and listen to this good word. Um, I, I remember one time I came in crying. It was terrible. And it was all because of the journey. And one of my teachers came up. Um, I don't know what I don't know what he what he said, but it made me it made me feel comforted. Um or it made me feel comfort that um he had, he genuinely cared about uh, whatever is taking me. Um uh, make me cry that much um is I, lo I love Sunday school and I'll keep coming back no matter what my emotions are sit right on there um but definitely wise counsel so I want to thank you for um listening to day two of my diary I am done spilling my heart Weight Watchers um no more caffeine uh vitamin whatever i also started reading a book um wendy pope i don't know who you are but you're awesome to me it says wait and see if you want to read it with me i just started and it is good it doesn't focus on infertility but it is one of the topics in there but if you are waiting on something this this book is awesome wendy pope Miss Wendy Pope, you did an absolute uh, amazing job, and I cannot wait to read it. I cannot wait to finish this. Um, and one of the questions that really got me was when it said, did I hear you correctly, God? Do you see what I'm going through? Why does this have to be so hard? Why is this my journey? Um, how long? So if you are waiting on something, pick this up read it with me i'm excited uh, tell me what you think wait and see bye wendy pope you did your thing girl you did your thing
thank you for um watching my video i am coming back for day three and tell you about the weight watch the caffeine um and just to check in and one day when i do have a child children uh we gonna look back at this moment all right check in with me later sincerely i don't know what my uh exit strategy is gonna be uh sincerely lady c <laughs> i don't know <laughs>